Hello everyone, hope you are doing well and staying healthy. So, what are we learning and doing for today's Fusion Fitness Focus? We're going to challenge ourselves to complete as many rounds as possible of four basketball themed exercises. Our exercises will include passing and shooting and pivoting movements just like in real basketball. But what I really want you to pay attention to is your perceived exertion, or basically how tired you feel. We want you to be able to know how hard you're exercising based on how you feel. To do that, you'll need to understand your body's normal reactions to more intense or harder exercise. Now, why are we learning this? Why is it helpful to have an intensity awareness when you're exercising? Well, if you wanna get more fit, you should know that your body will adapt and get stronger as you work harder. You need to know if you're working too hard and you have to stop, or if you're not working hard enough. Over time, if you push yourself just a little bit harder than you're used to, your heart will get stronger. And a strong heart can pump more blood while you're exercising, that carries the oxygen that it picks up from the lungs, out to your muscles that need that oxygen as fuel to keep moving so you don't get tired at the end of the game or in the fourth quarter or the 90th minute. And remember, Fusion Fitness Time is a good way to build up your endurance so you're fit enough to keep moving and having fun for longer periods of time during other activities and adventures. Now, how does this work and how will you know if you learn more about perceived exertion? Which again means how tired you're feeling. You'll know how hard you're working if you pay attention to your breathing and your heart rate and your muscles. You'll know if you work too hard if you're at a level where you absolutely cannot continue and have to stop moving. You'll know if you're not working hard enough if you're at a low perceived exertion number like two, which means that you're comfortable and you can carry on a full conversation with your family. After your fusion fitness, you're gonna rate your level of perceived exertion. I also want you to wait a few minutes to see how long it takes for your heart rate to recover to a level where you feel like you're back at a comfortable resting heart rate. If it takes a really long time to recover, your body's telling you that you need to find more aerobic activities like running, biking, swimming, or anything that you enjoy to get your heart rate and breathing up so you can train your heart muscle to get stronger. A strong heart is able to recover quickly because a strong heart is better at delivering the oxygen and nutrients to your body that it needs. So when your heart is healthy and strong, you're able to be active for longer periods of time and enjoy more fun activities and adventures. Today's Fusion Fitness Focus is an AMRAP challenge, which means as many rounds as possible. You'll see four basketball themed exercises in the video. You'll start on one exercise and then complete 10 repetitions of that exercise before moving on to the next. You'll complete a round after you finish all four of those exercises. The challenge is to see how many rounds you can complete in four minutes. If you'd like to, you can repeat the fitness challenge after you recover and see if you can complete more rounds and beat your score. But before you begin, be sure that you have good footwear, a good surface, and space so you can move safely. And finally, when we're exercising, pay attention to your heart rate and your breathing and your muscles so you can rate how tired you feel after the workout is finished. Have fun. It's Fusion Fitness time. Let's go. This is an AMRAP challenge, which stands for as many rounds as possible. You have four minutes to complete the four exercise cycle for as many rounds as you can. You'll complete 10 repetitions for each exercise. After you've completed four exercises, you've completed a round. How many rounds can you complete in four minutes? You got this. Are you ready? Let's do it.
are done. That was excellent. How many rounds did you complete? That is mission accomplished for today. Great work, everyone. We will see you next time. We'll